He is not ruling out, quote, significant change during the bye week, but he is not going to make any coaching or coordinator change. So it is official. We heard Sully, the other Sully, talk about that yesterday, that there's no change in the, the coaching strategy here. Tomlin made it official. He is not making coaching or coordinator changes during the bye week. Is that a tweet from Brooke Pryor? Two days ago, Ron, maybe three days ago, I would have been highly critical and in some ways still am, but in the name of tanking, I actually think this is good news. In the name of tanking. In the name of tanking, sure. In the name of our sanity, absolutely not. In the name of our talk show, absolutely. Absolutely. So I would add to this, they should put Kendrick Green in the lineup (laughs) and should – at least design five more packages around Gunner's talents as a receiver. Like he was in on the last couple plays against Miami? Benny Snell football, put him in there. You don't think when he talks about significant change he would ever go back to Trubisky this season, I, I, do What you? other significant change can he make? I know. What I mean, it be? I, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't hear I, – I just saw the one tweet. I haven't looked closely. I don't know what his reaction – what he said about the Claypool trade. I've, have you seen that, Matty? Uh, no, I haven't, haven't seen anything else. I, I assume he read Brooke Pryor's tweet. That was the right. significant change. Yeah, I haven't right. seen anything beyond that. Unless he thinks significant change is putting William Jackson at corner. That's going to happen whenever he's healthy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't know. That's I don't know what other change he can make, really. I mean, uh, significant would be going back to Trubisky. I know one he could make. What's that? Jalen Warren over Najee. Uh, Bench Najee. Yeah, uh, no. That would be significant. That, oh, that would be that would be size uh, uh, seismic. Seismic. That would be seismic. Yeah, as going back to Trubisky would be seismic. Seismic. Yes, it would. I don't think either one of those. I think those are beyond significant that we're talking about. Now, giving Warren a few more carries is that significant for him? Maybe. Yeah, I don't instead know what Tomlin's give, definition instead of, of that giving is. Instead of giving Warren three carries, do you give him eight? Is that significant? No. No, not to me. Not is to it me to you? Yet. No, it isn't. The only things that would be significant are a change there or a change at quarterback if he's not making a coaching change at all. And he said he's not making a coaching change. So Matt Canada has nine games to save his job. I don't like his odds. I feel like Mike Tomlin's almost saying that, the significant change thing to get people off his back, that he's not just stale and stuck. You know, it's kind of like, oh, I'm open to change. Sure, I'll let you believe that I'm open to change. I'm not really open to change. What do you think of that falsy take? Yeah, this is the first time he said used the word significant. That was in quotes. He's talked to you know Ivan. I asked him after the game the other night. You know about uh, you know you're, you're going to look at everything during the bye. You know the, would that include the coaches? And he goes, "I'm going to look at everything to make us better, not rule anything out." Yeah, he didn't say. I'm not going to rule out significant change. Right. And the one he's not making is likely to make them worse or keep them just as bad, and that's Matt Canada. So, and, again. And does this does this impact – how does this impact Pickett? Does this make Pickett's job a lot harder, maybe? Is it fair to say this could stunt his development? Yes. yes. A I think that's bit. a real question. Is Matt Canada a detriment to Penny Ki- Pickett's Kenny, development? Pa- pa- Pickett, Penny Pickett, Kenny. Pick, Penny Pick, Kickett's Pickett, development. Pickett. Penny Kickett. The That's famous, the second time the I've famous done field that. goal kicker, Penny Kickett. <laughs> uh, better than yes, Chris as opposed Blewett. to Chris Blewett. Yeah, yeah, I think it could. Of course, you're saddled with a with a with an overmatched coordinator. How couldn't with, that? With an offense that has been described by experts as amateurish. You know what I'd like to see is Kenny Pickett has, have a guy who's been around forever and seen everything, like a Tom Moore type figure. You know what I mean? He was on the sidelines of Tampa Bay the other day. At age 90, I think. Man. He's close to 90. A guy, in his 80s. Yeah, somebody, that, that's who Peyton Manning had at the beginning, right? As his quarterback's coach, if not his coordinator. I want to see this guy in good hands, Ron. This about, guy, this is about Mike Tom, they drafted yeah, him and did, they stuck him with, we, with Matt Canada. We could throw out names all the time. People want to see Ben come in to help him out. How about B.A.? How about Bruce Arians? Wouldn't that be a interesting? Quarterback, a quarterback guru. He's worked with uh-huh. Peyton. What an idea by Ron. He's worked with Peyton Manning. He's worked with Ben. 
He's worked with. He loved Kelly Holcomb. He in could Cleveland. make peace with the Steelers and Tomlin. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. B A. I think that that's the idea of the beautiful. century. I don't know that B A wants to be an assistant coach again, but uh, interesting. How I about, just, how I'd, about I'd, Mark I'd, I'd bring him in during the off season and just have him spend some time with Pickett. Let Pickett pick his brain. Yeah. I mean, because B.A. knows quarterbacks as well as anybody. Of course. And has been around them his whole career. That would be interesting to me. I would love that. How about Mr. Whipple as the yeah, next Yeah, I, I threw that out to Dulac and some of the other guys, and they all seem to think they'd be better off getting one of these young hotshot coaches as opposed to a guy Whipple, like Whipple. See? You know, like. Yeah, the, I, I hear that. Like but, the Shanahan's and, yeah. you know, an up-and-comer like that. For his quarterback mentor, though, for the quarterbacks coach, I really would like to see a guy who's been around forever and could just he could just sponge off a guy like that. But yeah, I understand for coordinator, everybody wants that next young hotshot. But you I mean, be- Tomlin thought he was getting the next guy. Yep. That he was getting Matt Cow. I'll be different. I'll hire a guy basically right out of college. Yeah, I made him a quarterbacks coach for a quarterback who didn't want to coach and Ben. Um, but I'm doing something different here. You know? I would love to see Arians bring his eyes in for a little while. How about- I, I always said that about the Pirates. You know, I, I, the one thing, many things they've done wrong. Jim Leland has worked for St. Louis and Detroit. Why hasn't he worked for the Pirates? Good it, it, question. Having his, I want his eyes on my team, on my minor leaguers. I want his eyes on them. And they they never – he lives in Pittsburgh. Right. And I, Aaron's is the same way. I, I would love to have his eyes on my quarterback. They should also bring back John Russell as their catcher's coach, Ron. <laughs> Do you agree? Yeah, that would bring big, bring a little personality into the room. How about Russell Martin? Oh, I'd, I'd hire Russell Martin to do anything in my baseball organization. Except How about Todd made, Haley? Except he's made a zillion dollars and doesn't want to work. <laughs> How about Todd Haley as your next coordinator, Ron? Uh, I'd be okay with that. I thought Todd did some great work here. Where is Ken Wizen Hunt these days? He's at uh, Penn State. He's an what? offensive really? consultant at Penn State. I saw his name Holy mentioned. I saw his name mentioned yesterday by Franklin when he said, "I'm not making this whole quarterback decision alone. I consult with people, and one of the people he consults with is Ken Wizen Hunt, who is on his staff." Holy ostrich. I didn't know that. Yeah. Follicles. Folsey. Huh? Ostrich follicles? I mean, he's right up the road here. He's only 60. Guys coach these days well past 60, Ron. Do you want them to just go after a name? Why don't they bring in Ken Wisenhunt? See, we caught, we, but he, he was here, though. I mean, we always talk about they need to go outside and bring in new ideas. And that doesn't mean he doesn't have new ideas. But I'd rather see a 38-year-old who's going to be here for a couple years and then be a head coach. That's just me, a 35-year-old. What do you mean on the people and, who have been here, people well, say Well, you know, like Haley ideas. had ties here because of his dad. You yeah. know, you promote uh, Matt Canada from here, bring in somebody from the outside. Yeah, I hear now, that. Now, they did bring in Brian Flores, right? Yeah. From the outside. So, I don't know. Do you think Brian Flores has any influence on what they're doing defensively? Why don't they just make him the coordinator, Ron? I don't know that I'm blaming Terrell Austin. It might be Mike Tomlin deserves all the blame. Ballsy? What would you say that Brian Flores does here? I don't know. Definitely works with the inside linebackers. Then I think they use him kind of as an all-around consultant. I remember uh, Trubisky saying he would pick his brain. Well, how about uh, what has he done with the inside linebackers? Turned Bush from horrible to bad. So he improved. I mean, Miles Jack has been, I thought, was better early in the year than he's been later. Yeah. And he's been recently. I agree. 